Okay, I'm going to show you in this one, this video, how to take a polynomial and do long division or synthetic division and where you end up with it. This should just be a quick review. So you've done this before. If you haven't done this before, I would recommend going to a different video. Now, if I take this polynomial and I want to divide it by x minus 1, what I need to do then is uh, take and set this up properly. So I set up this polynomial in uh, long division form. And so this is my long division method. And I'm going to take this factor. And what I do is I look at this leftmost term and I see how many times I can try to, well, what I need to match this up. So if I have just an x, what can I multiply it by to match up this x, uh, 2x to the fourth? So look at the left terms. Now, when I do this too, I like to put a left parenthesis and pretend like this is another parenthesis too. So what it would be is 2x to the third. If I put 2x to the third, I match this up into the x third column. So 2x to the third times x would give me 2x to the fourth. I'm matching it up perfectly. And then I'm going to go minus 2x. So I got to take this times this piece, 2x to the third. Then I can subtract. Now when I subtract, I'm actually changing all these signs. So this one actually becomes 6x to the third because I took 4 minus negative 2. These leading ones, since I matched them up perfectly, should always drop out. So now I want to match up this term here with, uh, well, I, I want to take this x, multiply it by something that will match up this term perfectly. And also I need to bring down this x squared. Well, that looks like a 6x to me, and so uh, 6x squared. So if I go 6x squared times x would give me 6x cubed. And then 6x squared times 1 would be minus 6x squared. I'm going to subtract again. This one was a positive. Subtract these off, and then this one would become 5x squared. Why? Make sure you can see why. Then I go minus 6x here. So then I'm going to multiply leftmost, leftmost again. This would be plus 5x. So I get 5x squared. Distribute there would be minus 5x. Subtract. So this becomes a positive. So it's going to be negative x. And then I'm going to end up with, bring this down, minus 3. And so when I divide this, this is going to be, match up the leftmost term, it's going to be minus 1. So if I take this minus 1, it'll just be negative x plus 1, subtract again, and that would give me a remainder of negative 4. So what do I do with this remainder? Well, I take this remainder and I put it up here, and I put whatever I'm dividing by below. So that's how you do the long division. If I do synthetic division, Synthetic division, you just take the coefficients. Now, one thing I didn't mention is that you have to make sure that this is in descending order with all the terms there. So, for instance, if I don't have an x cubed term, you have to put a zero there. I called it a holding place. This one, I had all the terms in there, so it's not a very good example for that, but that's what I end up with. For synthetic division, you just take the coefficients. 2, 4, negative 1, negative 6, negative 3. And what you do is you put out here, you do not put the full factor. You put the value that makes this thing 0. Well, what value of x makes this 0? That would be positive 1. And then you draw a line here below. So what I end up doing then is I take this 2 and I bring it down. That's my first step. Then I'm going to take this 1 and multiply it by the 2 and put the product there, which would be 2. Then I go ahead and add here. You do not subtract for this one. You just do a straight add. So 4 plus 2 is 6. And then I can multiply here. So I get 5 when I add down. And then this is a 5. Add negative 1. And then this one would be a negative 1. So add those and I get negative 4. How does this answer right here relate to what I get up here? Well, if this was a fourth degree polynomial, now I took this term here, I divided out a x, so to speak. So now I'm going to get 2x to the third. It's going to be one degree less than what we started off with, plus 6x squared, plus 5x, minus 1. You see how that's represented? And then what about this leftover negative 4? Well, I take this negative 4 and then put it by the divisor. 
like that, and I get exactly the same answer. So that's long division, synthetic division. The major thing is that you have to have holding places for all of your terms here. So if you're missing, for instance, x cubed, you got to put in a zero in that spot. Make sure you represent all of them. And then whatever is left over here, you can rewrite as a polynomial as, up, as we did up here. All right, that's a quick review. Thank you very much. Have a great day.